Hi everyone, it's Dot, and today we're going to be making an awesome side dish that is perfect for family picnics, barbecues, cookouts, whatever you got planned this summer you have to go to and bring a dish to, this is the dish because you can eat it. It is low carb. We're making a faux potato salad. Now, the star of this salad is cauliflower because this little vegetable does an awesome job of imitating potatoes. The first step in our little extravaganza today is actually cooking the cauliflower. So let's go ahead and get going. Okay, to prepare the cauliflower, you want a pot of boiling water. So what, all you're gonna do is put your cauliflower in and I'm using a spider ladle simply because I don't wanna just dump it right in. The water is boiling. I don't want anything splashing on me and burning me. So I'm gonna leave this in for about five minutes because I wanna cook the cauliflower, but I don't wanna turn it into mush. All right, my cauliflower is cooking. I've got about three minutes left before it's time to take it out. I've already went ahead and chopped up my eggs. I just basically coarsely chopped them. I'm gonna add uh, my radishes. Yes, I'm using radishes. That seems odd. However, they were in my fridge. I wanna use them. And so I'm just gonna ch chop them up slightly and they're just gonna add a nice kick to my faux potato salad. I have about two minutes before the cauliflower is done and I take it off the heat. What you wanna do is cool it down very quickly. So what I'm gonna do right now is prepare an ice bath. So I have my large bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ice in it. What I wanna do is I wanna have enough ice in here and I've got enough because I wanna cool it down fast. I'm gonna add some cold water to this. So the idea is once the cauliflower hits it, it's gonna stop cooking. Cause once you take it off heat and take it out of the hot water, it's still cooking. But once it makes contact with the cold, ice cold water, I should say, the cooking will stop immediately. All right, I just turned off the cauliflower. I've got my colander ready. I'm gonna drain it first. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to my ice bath. And I just wanna cool it off. That's ex all I'm doing right here. I have the final ice cubes out of this dish and I'm going to go ahead and now restrain the, the cooled cauliflower. All right, it's drained as much as it's going to drain. So here's the final step. I'm simply going to use paper towels. It's the old fashioned way. I'm just dumping them into the paper towels and I'm just going to pat them gently dry. I'm not going to squish them down or anything like that. You just want to pat them. You want them to retain their shape. And remember, this is your potato slices, so you don't want to turn this into sort of a cauliflower mash dish. All right, I've already added my chopped radishes to my bowl that I'm going to use to mix everything up in. And if you're freaked out by the radishes, you don't have to add them. They were in my fridge. I didn't want them to go bad. They've been in there for a little bit too long. And it also does give it a little nice kick. Here's my cauliflower. Dump all of that in. I made sure when I patted everything down, they, it kept its shape. Eggs. We want to add in some celery. Again, some nice crunch that you're adding to this dish. I'm adding just a little bit of shallots to this. Although I normally would use onion. I didn't have an onion available, so oh well green pepper. And now we're going to add in some of our wet ingredients. I've got mayonnaise, sour cream, table mustard, and just a little bit of my house seasoning, which I'll put a link to the recipe below. Now what we want to do is just stir everything all up. And you want to make sure you fold the cauliflower carefully because you don't want to break it apart. I have to say what I love about the radishes is I'm stirring this up it adds a nice pop of color. I always found potato salad to be pretty bland looking, but having a little bit of red in there is sort of pretty. All right, my shutterbug husband bet me I could not get my potato salad into his little bowl because he just wants to take so many pictures of this. I did, and just so you know, this serves eight people, and I guarantee you, when you bring this to a family reunion, a picnic, a cookout with your friend's house, whatever it may be, they will not be able to tell the difference between this and an actual potato salad. Some ideas for garnish. You can certainly use parsley if you want because it adds a nice bit of fresh looking green to it. I like to use paprika and you just have to sprinkle it on and it adds a nice little touch of red to it. I would have this in a much larger bowl so I'd get a bigger spread. However, my husband wants pretty pictures. So <laughs> there's that. Another great topping that adds a bit of color because it is a little bit of an off-white or yellowish color is just to go ahead and add some, and not many, but just add some chopped 
diced red peppers. Again, it adds a nice bit of crunch to it. It adds some color and you know, I'm all about food that looks pretty. There are some low carb foods out there that taste great, but they ain't pretty. Boom. Now let's take a taste and see if it matches up to all my hype. Mm. This is so freaking awesome. When I went low carb, I never thought I could have potato salad again because potatoes are a no-no when you're low carb. But man, cauliflower just rocks when it comes to disguising itself as potato. This is wonderfully delicious. The egg flavor is there. The mayonnaise and the sour cream are a nice balance between each other. Uh, you can certainly, if you don't like sour cream, you can certainly make this with all mayonnaise. I use the sour cream to add a little bit more fat to this dish. And there's a nice little crunch there, but it's not overpowering and you're not chewing bark. You can make a big batch of it and I guarantee you it's going to be gone in a matter of hours. I hope you give this recipe a try. It is a great dish for summer. And until next time, I'll see ya.